Chad Watts from Firefly Outdoor and Marine. You know, we introduced our new Stern Light to the market uh, and had so many questions. Um, guys wanted some, some additional information. So I thought I'd put together, take some time this morning, put together a video um, and try to explain some of these things. We've got our red one uh, mounted in a Phoenix 920. Uh, it's lit, but this is our carbon fiber, 100% carbon fiber. Uh, it's very light, it's very strong. Uh, these actually telescope uh, to nine foot six. Um, this is a pull uh, section. When this gets run out here, uh, then that cinches in and you literally have to twist and, and press in to get it to come back in. Uh, so this will store in any side compartment uh, box out there. Um, the uh, our refracting lens that we have on these things. Let's see if I can turn this around. Uh, this is the working end of the light that we spent so, so much time designing and engineering and developing. Um, we have now ended uh, the blinding light uh, that we've all experienced with our stern lights. Uh, I don't know of a fisherman out there that, that really cares much for that blinding light. Uh, I've seen uh, my fishing partners taking his shoes off and taking his sock off and put over it. Guys are hanging their hat on it. It's just a, it's just a really a pain. But so we've solved this. Uh, now this is just like a soft moon glow. Um, your eyes, once you, once you get out in the boat and you're, it's nighttime, whether it's before tournament and it's 4.30 in the morning, your eyes kind of get adjusted to the dark. Um, or if it's late in the afternoon, uh, after the sun goes down, it starts to get dark. Or if you're fishing in the middle of the night, you no longer have to make sure that your back stays to this light so that you can see because uh, you can stare at this, this glow uh, for five minutes and turn around and, and, and flip a jig up underneath a, a real low hanging shrub. You can see all the leaves on the bank. You can see leaves and limbs on the trees. It's just, it's, it's, we've ended that blinding light thing. So, um, you know, when we set out to build these, we, we, there were several things that we had to accomplish or we would have just built an, you know, another stern light and there's enough of those out there. So we had to take care of the blinding light part and then we took care of where it extends. Now you're fishing under the light and that makes all the difference in the world. If you're fishing at night, you'll absolutely love that. I've had guys ask me, well, Chad, what's it actually like? And the best way I know to explain it without you experiencing it is if you've ever gone deer hunting and you get out of the truck, you put your gear on and you're fixing the head to your stand and you got your, either your headlamp on or you got your flashlight and you're like, hmm, it's light enough out here. I think I can walk all the way to my tree stand uh, without my light. Uh, that's because of the full moon and that's exactly what this is like. It, it will, it, it will change how you fish in the dark because of that very reason right there. Now, we also, uh, went in and I had somebody ask me, um, uh, why did you make a base? that's not like on boats today. Uh, you know, I, this is a two pin base or pole and it will fit in any two pin base that's ever been made. It, they're all the same as far as the, uh, the diameter of, of the hole. So all bases will, or poles will actually fit in those base. So, the only thing that we've added is this threaded collar. Now, there are some boats, I know Triton, I know Ranger, um, uh, Vexus. Phoenix new ones now have it. 
but their old style is just like it would it would, doesn't need a collar um, but you know we've had it we've had it on falcons we've had it on bass cats we've had it on um, rangers vexes tritons um, you know we've had it on a, a whole host of, of different boats and and for the most part the newer boats coming out most of them have the atwood marine base and the, the threaded collar and it fits perfect now i know skeeter has got a thin uh, thread and this is a fine thread and this is a coarse thread and and we sold one to a guy in texas and just loves his his stern but matter of fact he got the lime green uh, and all he did was remove this stainless steel uh, screw and slid our collar off and slid his collar on and put the thing back on and he was good to go. You can order these without the threaded collar if you want them. Just let us know uh, in the comment section uh, in, in the order form on fireflymarine.com and, and we'll know to, to leave this threaded collar off. Or if the reason why we sell that Atwood base is, is it's becoming very popular with boat manufacturers. Uh, but if there's a guy out there restoring an old boat or anything, then, then we've offered that base there in case he would like to have one. And that way he doesn't have to make a different trip to, you know, some uh, boating place to, to, to get his base. He can get it there when he orders his stern light. Uh, we produced this um, in seven colors. Um, we've got them and I've got them right here. We've got our black and our our orange and our silver and white and yellow and lime green and then our red is sitting back there in in uh, uh, in the base but being carbon fibered uh, it is very 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 light very light this thing's just it weighs nothing uh, matter of fact when we ship it out in the box with this light, with everything we have in there, it's 1.75 pounds and that's box and all. And, and so they, they just don't weigh anything, but they are extremely strong. We lay our carbon fiber a certain way so that uh, it is very strong, but it still has some flex to it. And as you go down the lake, um, if you've got it fully extended, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll flex back. If you hit a wave, it'll, it'll whip back and forth and then it'll come right back into and settle in right to where it, it, it needs to be. Uh, the, um, uh, if you go under a limb, it'll just fold back and then pop right back up. Uh, the, uh, we've just, we've, we've spent so much time developing, trying to change uh, the stern light and how it's made and what it's made from and how it's produced um, the, uh, uh, all these colors have metal flake in them. Uh, we just did that for, uh, added looks to it. Um, one of the things we had a guy say, well, you know, uh, we can't use this in our state. Um, our state laws are, are different. Well, the United States Coast Guard makes all the water rules out there for us. Um, uh, and I can tell you this stern light is uh, United States Coast Guard approved with a max rating of two nautical miles. This actually has a 5.2 nautical mile bulb inside. It's a special bulb that we had made. It's called a Cree. Uh, and we designed it just for this and had it special made. Uh, it's very powerful. Uh, but yet I can run this light for 16.3 hours on a double A battery. And to be that powerful, so we're not gonna take a lot of juice out of your batteries when you're running this light at nighttime. Uh, it's also ABYT and NMMA certified. Uh, so you can run this stern light on any boat, 40 foot or less, um, uh, in any waterway inside the United States. So they're, they're legal for all those applications. Um, uh, I hope that I've answered a lot of the questions. I remember one now, it collapses to five foot. 
Then you've got the four inch, you've got the four inch uh, uh, lamp on top. So it'll fit in any rod barker box. The majority of the time we found that it clips right into the clips that they've made, that the boat manufacturer put in for the factory stern light. Uh, just, it'll pop right in there because the diameter's the same. Um, we just got it so that the top part is only four foot because we wanted, we wanted area in here of 12 inches uh, where this stops. We wanted to be able to have collection area for our wire. I uh, hope that I've been able to answer a lot of the questions. I'm sorry that the video was so long, um, the, uh, but I just wanted to get some of these questions that guys had answered. Um, and I appreciate you taking a look at Firefly uh, and our stern lights. We've got some new stuff coming for the front nav light that's never been done before. We're excited about that. Uh, that's going to be a big help to the fishermen um, and we, we, we look forward to, to introducing that but we've got our stern lights and we're very happy and proud of them uh, and if I can ever answer any questions feel free to, to text message me feel free to, to email us uh, fireflymarine at charter.net uh, you can go online at fireflymarine.com and, and there's a place in there that you can ask questions. If you'll look on Facebook and go in there, you'll actually have our phone number is 205-908-3181. That's with me all the time. So you just feel free to call me or text me or email me and I'll be more than happy to, uh, to talk to you about uh, these stern lights or answer any questions you have. Um, the uh, uh, so I'll always be there to to, to answer You're those. Happy with it. Um, one other thing that I had that I just remembered that the guy asked me about our paint. This is a this is a seven uh, layer process. There's four coats of paint. The last two coats have metal flake in there, and then there's three coats of clear coat. Now there's a 45 minute heating process between each one of them so we're not going to get chips and and chunks falling off here this is very very hard um, uh, we had to because the inside of a boat in a compartment or even when it's being used in the into the base back there uh, being out on the water is a violent process I mean there's a lot of banging and, and, and stuff going on so we wanted to make sure that we had that covered we didn't want guys buying these things and then having having those kind of issues so we we we've gone through a lot of a lot of pains in making sure that we developed um the the stern light that we're going to take care of you for years um and uh trust me these things will change how you fish in the dark guys appreciate it uh, and appreciate you taking time out and listening to it. If you've got any questions, just give me a shout. We'll talk to you later.